Many Iranian artists and musicians are also fleeing their homeland in search of more freedom abroad, and they're ending up here in northern Iraq. Honey, as she calls herself, may be petite, but her voice is immense. She wasn't always free to perform in front of audiences like this one in northern Iraq. That's because she grew up in neighboring Iran, where the authorities typically bar women from singing solos in public unless they're performing for other women. Strict rules there also limit women singing for mixed gender audiences. The reason? Some conservative Muslims believe that women's singing can arouse improper sexual thoughts in men. So in 2004, Honey fled her homeland with one small suitcase and many big dreams. She flew to Germany and never returned. She recently moved to Kurdistan, a semi-autonomous region in northern Iraq, known for its relative stability and security. Most people here are ethnic Kurds, like Honey, who sings in Kurdish. From the capital of Erbil, it's only a three-hour drive to the Iranian border. But on this side of the border, Honey feels free to make music about earthly love and freedom, subjects typically scorned by Iran's regime. Uzbe Mosle left Iran to sing here too. He settled in and started building a home studio after this music video aired on satellite TV, showing women without their hair covered as they're supposed to in Iran. He didn't think he'd get in trouble. Other Iranian musicians had done the same before. But then his friend said he saw Ruzbe's name on a government list of artists and musicians who'd been interrogated, banned from working, or even detained. Ruzbe feared he'd be next. I didn't want to go back. Here, he says, he can perform without having to get government approval of his lyrics and songs as musicians do in Iran. Here, he says, he feels safe. So does Honey. She says she doesn't regret leaving her homeland. Though for her, achieving the freedom to sing has come at a very high price. بتونم اون زندگی مثل یک مادر یعنی توی فضای خانوادگی خودم بتونم با آرامش مثل یک مادر چیزی چیز بزرگتری توی ذهن من Honey says her children now understand she left to share messages through her music messages like the one she wants to send in her latest song to her many fans in Iraq and in Iran where people can listen to her on black market CDs this song, Honey says, is about a woman who doesn't give up her struggle to show the beauty within when beauty is banned. For the International Campaign for Human Rights in Iran, I'm Roxana Saberi.